Greetings everybody, LVW coming with another episode of Noob Sauce. Welcome back. Here we are over at our Sugar Cane Farm. Last episode we got the outside look, and the sheep is back. He's inspecting the work. I'll bribe you later. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we got the outside look. It's all finished up and done. What we now need to actually do is the actual farm down there. So... Let's get going on that. We're going to need a couple things first. <clears throat> Sorry, but I guess... Alright, we're going to need to make a couple of items here. So, we're going to grab some of this sand and this gravel. We're going to grab 32 pieces of cactus green dye. If you remember last episode, the way you make cactus green dye is you actually have to cook them. Cook up your cactus, alright? Uh, I've already made sticky pistons. Okay. So you need 32 of those. And then we're going to need another item. We need that. Gonna need that. Uh da, 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 should be everything. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create this item right here. This green concrete powder. To make concrete powder, you need four pieces of gravel, four pieces of sand, and one dye. If you don't have any type of dye, including just bone meal. It won't create the powder. You actually have to have a dye as part of the recipe. And it, it really doesn't kind of matter how this formation goes. As long as you have four pieces of sand, four pieces of gravel, and a dye piece in the 9 by 3 by 3 crafting grid, you can create your concrete. All right. So I'm going to craft all of this up and get two stacks, or sorry, four stacks, but two stacks out of, out of, out of the one. Uh, now, this is only the powder, though, so if I put this down, let's put it down, like, right here, that's what it looks like. It looks like sand, well, because it's made from sand, of course, and it's got a nice little green texture, and that's why a lot of people use it for uh, grass and stuff like that, and it treats just like sand, so I can break it with my hand. Now, if I do this, though, let's get over here, Bazivata, now watch what happens when I add water next to the block. Look at that. And it takes forever to, to break. It's concrete now. So I actually need, let me uh, get you out of there, a pick. And now if you look at it, if you look at the title, it says green concrete. So that's the difference. You have the powder, which acts like sand. Then you have concrete, which acts like stone. All right. And that's what we're going to be using in here for the walls. Uh, next item we need to make. Is an item called an observer block. This is a redstone component. Okay, that is this device right here. See this thing that says observer, right? That requires six pieces of cobblestone, two pieces of redstone, and nether quartz. And you get this block called an observer block. I'll just make the one for right now so I can show it to you. Nope. <laughs> you put it in my inventory. Now, when you put this block down, there's a very specific way that these blocks have to be placed. See this like red dot that's in the back here? That's an output hole, all right? Uh, this section, which looks like it has the two eyes and a, either a nose or a mouth, that's why a lot of people use it as a face because it kind of looks like a face, is the observer part. It's the input of this particular redstone component. So anytime I do an update there, It'll pick up the fact that there's a block that was placed there, send it, you know, send the or convert that motion into a signal and send that out to this component here. So if I take a piece of redstone so we can see it from the front, I remove this block and watch what happens to that redstone line. See that? It got a, a pulse. I put the block back down, it gets a pulse. All right, that's what uh, primarily the uh, Observer block does. All right, and of course we're going to need 32 of these. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more cobblestone, of course. Give me the cobblestone, and I need uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I need seven more, and I need to sleep. All right, let me uh, get the uh, night out of here. Let me get these other observer made, and we'll get underneath. And here we are underneath everybody. All right, 
I got the 32 observer blocks, I got my 32 sticky pistons, and then we have our concrete powder. So we're now what we're going to want to do is the first thing we're going to place is we're going to place these observer blocks. Now remember, when you place one, the output hole faces you. The input faces away from you. So, since my input is going to be coming from underneath this glass here, I actually have to be on the outside so I can place these blocks here on the ceiling so that the output line comes out of the farm. The farm's inside. The devices I'm going to be using to uh, harvest the sugar cane will be on the outside. So we have to put our, our observers out here, like so. Okay. And then underneath that, back here, we're going to take our sticky pistons and place those underneath, just like so. Okay, and then underneath that, now look, see how it acts like sand? It gravity pulls it down. So I place the, the, sand, uh, the concrete powder here. Sand will do it. Gravel will do this. It falls down. Just like so. Okay. Now, what I'm also going to want to do, let's get out here, is we're going to want to make something called the jack o lantern. Alright. And what we're going to do is every other block for the first eight, back out right we're gonna put a jack on lantern down um, I already covered how to make a jack on lantern I do believe so if not it's, it's simple you just take a pumpkin I don't have my shears on me right now put it down on the ground shear it you'll get a face it'll become um, a carved pumpkin and then you just add a torch to it after you have the carved pumpkin and becomes this jack on lantern right so and then, of course, that will, you just put your, your sand up there. And, and what happens, that will be your light source on the inside. Actually, I think that's not even... Give me that back. Is it just a car park or is it a jack lantern No, it is a jack o lantern Okay, just, the, the, the torch might be just disillusioning the, the light by the way it looks. And I don't particularly like to have the face out, so I always hide the face inside my walls. All right, guys, and we're going to do that every other block for the first eight, and then uh, you're going to start on the other end and come back. All right, guys, so I'm going to get that all in place, and then I'll come back. I'll show you how we're going to turn this into concrete. And here we are, everybody, with everything in place now. I've got all 32 observers, all 32 sticky pistons, 16 pumpkins, and a lot of powdered concrete. Now, since I'm going to be using sticky pistons, I definitely want to make sure this is concrete. I could actually go out to that ocean and dump the concrete in there and pick it out. Or we could simply do this. Take your water bucket and pour it over like that real quick. And look what happens. It converts it all over for you. Simple as that, right? I ain't too worried about the torches, guys. I got the, the pumpkins that are now lighting everything. And we can go to the other side. Okay. Oop, I placed it. <laughs> Don't mind the lag, guys. It's the running water that's doing that. You'll notice that when uh, we did the farm. It's all the running water. Okay, so now we have our green concrete walls in place next to these uh, pistons and observers. To make sugarcane, if you remember correctly, I told you, you actually have to have water. So what we need to do, is we need to dig out a trough here so we can have the water flow. I'm going to go one extra block here. Because what I'm going to do is take that out, that block, take you out, oops, one, 
too many. One too many. I don't need that one. And we're going to take uh, the leash powder and take it to the area of the eighth block over where the double pumpkins are going to be placed. You're going to skip those. Like so. All right. And then, of course, we can just do that. Now, what goes in this hole are going to be two. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's nighttime. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, did I bring over my iron? No, I did not. Okay, I'm going to grab the iron, then we get rid of this night, and we'll be right back. Alright, guys. We got daylight again. Uh, I actually didn't need to get the iron because I already made the hoppers for ourselves. Alright, so we're going to grab two of these hoppers. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these for now because I don't need those. And what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to just drop these hoppers right down there. This uh, grass, these black, right here, these grass blocks, they're going to stay here. Alright, and I now need, give me that block there. We'll put you there and then we'll use a powder rea. Because what we're going to do is, we're going to put a water flow going here. And it's going to go eight blocks, which will go to the very first hopper right here. And then I need another one, so we need to go get a bucket of water. Do -do -do -do. Bucket of water. Jump, jump, jump. Do -do -do. And place. Yeah, and the same thing is going to happen. Okay, so now we have 16 blocks per side for the sugar cane placement. All right, guys. So you have a total of 32 pieces of sugar cane that are going to go in here. You can go grow two more additionals above it. Therefore, you'll harvest a stack each time. All right. But the way I have the design... Is that it won't harvest all in one shot it will harvest each stalk separately so watch what happens now here's a single stalk there's a double stalk all right watch the piston as i put and get up a block watch what happens with the piston the block here this block right here as the observer uh sees this third stalk grow ready okay let's watch it again if you actually if you catch it quick enough, what happens is this, the observer block pushes the uh, powers the piston, which pushes the second block out, which breaks the stalk. But the the uh, the power to the piston is so quick that it actually keeps the block out. Um, when the stalk is broke, though, a second uh, observe, observation is made, which sends a secondary signal back to the piston, which then comes back out, grabs block, and brings it back in. So uh, watch very carefully. Okay, it's a little glitchy, but all right. Now, as you can tell, all this stuff all came down here. Uh, oh, we got one planted. I was gonna say I'm missing one. All right, so, but unfortunately. We need to actually get some walls in here. So I need... Give me the bucket back, because we're going to steal back the issue of water. Yes, I'm stealing my own water. Because I'm going to do this real quick. Okay. And this will close. This will enclose the farm, so nothing will get in here now. Once everything's in place. Including us. <laughs> All right, that's not a big deal. We'll just pick our way back through. All right, so let's get that out. Let's get our sugar cane back. Let's place our water back down.
Remember I said that uh, it could either be flowing water or steady water. It, as long as it's a water source, the sugar cane will be planted. Oops, that's not this one. There we go. And let's put our two pieces back together. Now, let's go up top and take a look at it. There's more that has to be done because I actually have to build something underneath there uh, to help collect the sugar cane. This is what it looks like from the top now. Our observer blocks are right there. We got our wall, our sugar cane's all in place, and it's all self contained. Nothing can get in this thing unless you break the blocks. So we don't have to worry about it. The water flow will collect it, and it'll collect underneath in that um, hopper system that we're going to now work on. Uh, so what I have to now do is I have to dig out some more of this uh, dirt around here. I uh, Like two or three levels. All right, guys. So I'm going to do that now, and then we'll be right back. And everything is now dug out. All right, guys. Just don't uh, dig out with the sand, uh, sand, dirt, where you have the uh, sugar cane and stuff. All right, guys. But this is basically what you want to make sure it gets dug out. All right. This is what it looks like underneath. we got to make a couple more components, though. Um... We're going to need a few more things. All right, I've already uh, crafted levers. And I crafted polished diorite out of regular diorite. Um, to, to make polish, you just take regular diorite, put it in a 4x4 grid like this, and then you get these polished diorite blocks. All right, guys. Uh, now, we're going to be making a um, minecart hopper collection system. So we're going to need three more components to this system. I've already got hoppers made, I've already got chests made, but we need to also make um, rails. If you remember correctly, I showed you how to make rails when we did the grinder, okay? It's just six pieces of iron and uh, one stick, all right? I'll make 32 of those. One of the other things we need to make, though, since we're actually going to be making a rail system, we need to be able to power the minecart on its own. So we have to make this component called a powered rail. To make a powered rail, this is where the gold comes in place. We need six pieces of uh, gold ingot, one stick, and one piece of redstone. All right, I'm going to actually need two sets of those. Well, one, but let's see. All right, and that'll give us those components. We're going to need our minecart. All right, we're going to need the hopper. Like so. Just in case you guys <laughs> forgotten how we make all that stuff. And then this is what we're going to need. And all that is is just putting the minecart with the hopper like that. All right, guys. So now we have pretty much the components that we need to do what we need to do here. All right. So what we we'll want to do here is underneath the uh, area for the sugar cane, we're going to dig this out. So we're going to go underneath here. Easy enough, right, guys? All right, now what we're gonna next want to do is we're gonna take a double chest, put them underneath the hoppers. Oops, <laughs> I always forget that, that they separate now. Make sure they're attached. We're gonna take our hoppers. Now I, I use four like this because it just I know that uh, when the rail goes over it, it all will collect in there and won't we'll, we'll be stuck in the it's in the hopper. Okay, remember those hoppers are pointing. See how the nozzle points into the chest? All four like that. Take your uh, polished diorite. I use polished diorite for a lot of the redstone because I'm not a big fan of the poly uh, diorite in itself. So I use it for a lot of my redstone components because my redstone components are generally hidden. You know, nobody sees this stuff anyway. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And then on top of this, we're going to put 
our rails. Now, the way you have to set this up, though, is specific, right? We're going to start over here at the hopper. To put anything on the top of the hopper, if you remember correctly, you have to crouch, and then you can set your rail down. We're going to come over to this section here where you leave two just before the turn, and then we're going to take two of these powered rails and put it like there. We're going to put a powered rail right here, and then we're going to put a regular rail because powered rails can bend. Regular rails can bend. Now, this is going to make the turn for us. See how the rail is bent? So the wine cart will come around and bend right around this turn. So once again, we're going to start off with two and bend the rail around just like so. All right. And I'm going to uh, oops, follow all the way back down. Oops, got the crouch. Until we get down to our two section again. Bend it. Come back around like so. Now, what we can also have to do at this point, believe it or not, is we now need to get back underneath this section as well. So we have to go under it. Alright, and here is, I'm gonna, let me put a torch down here. Oh, I don't want anything spawn. So I'll put a torch down here. Now, what you want to do is, here is the first block. We're going to actually power this block right here with a lever. Like so. Now, since this block is being powered by this lever, this three set of rails, the two here, single, and two, are all going to be powered by one single source of power. I mean, I mean, if I wanted to, I could also put a block here and put a redstone torch, uh, or put a redstone torch here and, and power that block. Instead of using redstone, it's just a piece of stick and cobblestone. That's why I use a lever. Uh, and that, did it, I'm done with that stuff. So let me back my shovel. Do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now, i got to be careful with this because I'm going yeah. to make sure I have this in the right area. Do the same thing on the side and put a torch down here as well. And once again, all three sets here are powered. So now we can take our cart, drop it on here. And it's a good thing you have the spaceship because you actually need to nudge it to get it moving. And now the mine cart's going to move. All on its own. Every time it hits a power rail, it gives it power and pushes it. So what happens now, is we'll go up top, it's probably going to be nighttime up that, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, hopefully nothing will come out. As you can see, the, the uh, sugar cane is already starting to grow. So when it grows three tall and pushes off, if it falls onto the grass, which it's going to do a lot of, let's get back underneath here, it's going to fall on top of this grass right here. And that hopper minecart that's traveling around in this continuous circle will actually will grab those items. And then what it'll do is, as it goes over these hoppers that are underneath these rails right here, those hoppers will pull it out of the minecart hopper and throw it into that chest over here, to that chest right there. As you can see, as you can tell, I can access it from here, but I'll probably build something underneath it and everything like that. But for right now, this functions. This will work, and I no longer have to manually farm my sugar cane. It will farm itself. So if I just need sugar cane, I'll just come over here, open up the chest, and grab my sugar cane. All right. And that's it. I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty basic. It's pretty simple. I'm sure nothing out here is going to blow me up like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, how many arrows I got? Nine? Okay. A little bit of combat action, guys. We haven't seen this in a while. It's the only thing I don't like about jumping in the water is that... See, the... the, the oh, <laughs> I, I'll explain that in a second. That's kind of funny. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. Okay, good. Uh, let me kill you. Goodbye. Um, the, there's a new, new ability that when it goes into the water... I believe I explained this before. That your eyes begin to adjust to the underwater setting so you can see a little bit better 
And as you jump up and down, you kind of get that little like flicker. It's a little annoying. Uh, boats can actually travel with two people in it. The person who is driving the boat and a, and a passenger. So you can actually get mobs inside your boats. And you can actually travel around with them. Alright. Like, you can just kill them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um... That's a little something that that you do to transport mobs and stuff around and everything like that, or I guess. Uh, let's get back over to here. Um, with any luck, we won't be too badly more interrupted. All right, so uh, this this farm is now pretty much completed, and you just have to wait for it to harvest itself. And each one of these observers will observe the growth of the third stalk and push it off. Maintaining the bottom stalk and just harvesting two pieces each time one one grows. All right, so essentially you will harvest a, uh, a stack out of this whole entire section, but one at a time. All right, guys, so uh, that's it. The farm is now done. We're ready to go and move on to our next project. So, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Y'all take care now. Bye.